Good evening. I'd like to call to order the City of West Bend Licensing Board for February 21st, 625 p.m. Note that we do have a quorum and we have three items on our agenda. The first being approval of the minutes, the Licensing Board regular meeting minutes for February 7th. <coughs> motion to approve. Second. Thank you. It's been motion second. Any comments or corrections? Hearing none, all those in favor, set up by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. We have two agenda items for consideration. The first being update of members and LLC change for Don Tacos and Tequila at 326 Commerce Street. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. It's been motion second. Any comments or questions on this one? Hearing none, all those in favor, set up saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. And then we have number three, appointment of Agent Felix Sanchez for Don Tacos and Tequila at 326 Commerce Street. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. It's been motion, motion, second. Any comments, questions on this? Hearing none, all those in favor, somebody saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> Thank you. And having no further business for the licensing board, I adjourn by the call of the chair. I would like to call the order of the Board of Public Works. We have nine items on the agenda. I had approval of minutes for the regular meeting on February 7th. Motion to approve. Second. Any corrections or additions? There are none. All those in favor? Aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Item number two, permission to award contract 22-05, Westside Downtown Riverwalk, execute owner direct purchases and retain professional services to complete the Westside Downtown Riverwalk renovations. Good evening, Mike. Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> uh, this evening, our department is requesting permission to construct the Westside Downtown Riverwalk. This request includes awarding contract 22-5, execute owner direct purchases and retain professional services to complete the west side downtown riverwalk renovations <clears throat> this work will include the completion of phase two construction from veterans avenue north to the moa bridge that's a north pedestrian bridge that phase two also includes the covered alley in the downtown there right by the historic theater phase three is also included so from the moa bridge going north um, to the place of origin park on the north side of washington street Phase three includes the two parking lots, kayak launch, and the underpass under Washington Street. And phase four, which is, I'll say, the West Bend Company Dam, that little island out there, and the river walk north to North Main Street, where the skate park is currently located right by Regner Park, Silverbrook Drive. So the entire project that we're talking about is phase two, three, and four, Veterans Avenue, north all the way to North Main Street. The timeline for the completion of, of these different phases Phase four, we are looking at a completion date of October 1st of 2022. That phase four's um, deadline is tied in with the brewery development and uh, we've been working with that developer over there. Phase two um, timeline for completion was June 30th of 2000, or, yeah, 2023. And phase three, the deadline for or completion time for that is June 28th, 2024. If the contractor deems they want to expedite things and get things done quicker, they can. Because ultimately we have a contract before you tonight that is approximately 24 months out for completion. If I were that contractor, I'd probably want to get things done a little bit sooner, not knowing exactly what construction materials are going to cost two years from now. So they do have the ability to expedite, move things along quicker. Um, the contractor in question is already talking about building the river walls on phase two, moving right into phase three, things like that. So hopefully some of these deadlines will be, you know, moved, moved up a little bit. Um, again, the theory or the idea behind this was instead of bidding each phase separately, bid them all together. We wanted to uh, bid them out during the winter months like this. Contractors can get them on their schedule, things like that. Hopefully we get bid, decent bid prices, which we did, and then give them those deadlines far enough out that they can get the work completed. Also, those deadlines um, are kind of, they're not kind of, they are contingent on our permits. Um, phase two and phase three, we can't work in a river March 15th to May 15th. Phase four, we can't work in a river until after June 15th because of spawning seasons and turtle spawning, fish spawning, things like that. So some of those things out of our control kind of control our deadlines and whatnot. So, um, so with that being said, I'm going to <clears throat> reference the spreadsheet that is um, part of your agenda packet this evening. I think this will be a little bit easier for me to explain the revenues and the expenditures end of this project and what we are uh, referencing. So if you look at the spreadsheet that is before you this evening, I'll say the top about one third um, 
the top boxed bolded box section of the spreadsheet are the revenues for this the revenues for this <coughs> project include donations bid funds a dnr acquisition grant a dnr recreational trails program grant and a stewardship grant um, also part of the revenues for this are the apra money uh, which is the american rescue plan act funding uh, we are looking at TID contributions, a WE Energies grant, and park impact fees. <clears throat> so we have definitely have a wide variety of revenue sources that support different aspects of the project. The DNR stewardship grants support phase two. The acquisition grant supported uh, the acquisition of those parking lots on or things like that. Park impact fees can support the new features along the Riverwalk, new Riverwalk sections. So each phase has different funding sources to help support the entire, the entire project. Um, so the revenue sources that you have before you this evening, um, that is our plan at this point in time to support financially support phase two, three, and four development. Um, the city has also applied for a neighborhood investment fund grant for a dollar amount of $2.65 million for this project. We're looking at this week getting the results for that grant. Hopefully it'll be positive results for that grant. Jess Wilds and Cindy Lyons worked hard and they did a fantastic job putting together another uh, professional grant application for this. We're gonna score high. Uh, we don't know yet if we're gonna uh, receive those funds or not. I'm sorry, Mike, what was that number again? $2.65 million. So if we did receive the $2.65 million, <clears throat> the revenue section of the spreadsheet in front of you would change for the APRA money. We would only need $197,000 if we received that grant. Uh, we would also need less TIF 15 money and less park impact fees money. So the 2.65 million um, would be very beneficial for this. Unfortunately, we don't have that answer yet. We were supposed to have those answers for that neighborhood investment uh, grant earlier this year. Just things were delayed out of, out of our control. We were already going through the bidding process for the Riverwalk, things like that. So if we are fortunate enough to um, acquire some of those funds, our revenue sources would change a little bit for this. Not a little bit, would change in a very much positive fashion for this project. So. Um, <clears throat> moving through the spreadsheet a little bit further, I'm going to move down to the awards scenario section of the, um, of the spreadsheet. This is where we will talk about the um, uh, permission to award contract 2205. Um, again, we went out for bid for all three phases. Uh, Yankee General Contractors of Athens, Wisconsin, uh, they were low bid. Yankee was also our contractor on the East River Walk along Veterans <coughs> Avenue. Same contractor. And we're also very fortunate their site superintendent along the east side of the river or the, uh, the Veterans Avenue section is also with their company or still with their company. He actually put our bid package together. We've met with him already. Um, so we expect the same type of quality and, and response from Yankee. Great company to work with. They've proven themselves once just with the east side Riverwalk. They can do it again with this project. <clears throat> uh, we did receive two bids for this project. Um, which is not unusual. Um, it's not a standard <coughs> sidewalk construction project. It's not a tree planting contract. There's a lot to this. There's concrete work, it's asphalt work, it's steel work, a lot of electrical work. So a lot of moving parts, a lot of different components with this project. So to have two contractors bidding for this, um, that is, was not a real surprise for us. Um, if we look at um, the base bid and the alternates, um, the Yankee was approximately $1.5 million less than the second bid. So at this point in time, the base bid with Yankee was $4,561,168.25. Um, if we include the add alternates, which are our three of them, uh, total project with the Yankee for contract 2205 would be $4,633,844. Um, again, this base bid work includes grading, um, excavating, river wall construction, riprap installation, concrete pavement, concrete curb and gutter, concrete sidewalk, asphalt pavement, storm sewer installation, cable railings, electrical work, removal and installation of the south pedestrian bridge. That south bridge, we get to pick it up, put it in storage. And when they get done building those river walls through those areas, we'll put that bridge back in place. The three ad alternates that are included in our proposal this evening 
At Alt 1 is the um, fencing along um, the Washington Street Bridge right now. We have some cyclone fence up there. We would like to remove that and add some, replace it with some Riverwalk style fence so we are continual, consistent throughout the entire downtown with our fencing. Uh, we are also, <clears throat> excuse me, at Alternate 2 would be a new handicap railing, uh, handicap accessible railing down on the new proposed kayak launch. And then alternate three would be lighting of the um, Washington Street Dam. So the total construction cost, this is not total project cost, this is the construction cost, which includes uh, Yankees base bid, the three alternates, 10% contingency and 5% construction management. That contract or construction cost would be $5,390,000. Uh, $5, Again, that is not total project cost. The next section of the spreadsheet, uh, if you move down a little bit, you can see where it says owner direct purchase totals. Uh, our owner direct purchase items um, include the Ready Rock um, block, which is the large retaining wall block that we used along the Veterans Avenue Riverwalk. We're gonna use the same style uh, uh, block along the west side. So we would direct purchase those items. Um, actually, we went out for bid and we have those numbers, those firm numbers as part of this proposal this evening. Uh, also, other direct purchase items, <clears throat> excuse me, include light poles, light fixtures, electrical boxes, electrical components for the Place of Origin Park, and pervious pavers that will be used for stormwater collection along the river wall. Owner direct purchase items um, will be estimated at $500,848. As we move through that spreadsheet, move down a little bit further. <clears throat> we have additional items on the expenditure section, including hiring Cost of Wisconsin to stain the new river walls. Cost of Wisconsin did the staining on the Veterans Avenue um, side of, of, of those retaining walls, so we want to hire the same company to carry that staining practice and procedure over to the west side. Those costs are estimated at $56,743. The remaining items in the spreadsheet, I'm sorry, <clears throat> include future signage, Sorry, sorry about that, including future signage, um, which will also include donor recognition. We've see, received hundreds of thousands of dollars in donations for this section of river, uh, Riverwalk development and also along Veterans Avenue. Um, the additional funds will include environmental so, uh, services for contaminated soils, tree plantings, things of that nature. So the overall total project cost is $8,055,689. The grade areas on your spreadsheet <clears throat> are items that have already been um, paid for and executed, or we are in the process of executing them at this point in time. Those include the utility work part of phase one and design and engineering fees. You can see a little bit lower down in the spreadsheet. To date, we have um, expended 1.7, almost $1.8 million for the development of these river rock sections <clears throat> in the downtown. So, we take the whole spreadsheet, you look at what we've already um, accomplished and executed, and we look at the um, proposal before you tonight. The completed items, or the total remaining project costs at this point in time is approximately $6.2 million. So again, our department is requesting permission to construct the West Side Downtown Riverwalk. This request includes awarding contract 22-05 with Yankee General Contractors. We would look to execute owner direct purchases and retain professional services to complete the West Side Downtown Riverwalk renovations. Total project cost of $6,273,202.43. Thank you. Motion to approve. Second. Are there any questions for Mike? Um, Alderman Allen. Uh, Mike, have we are we responsible to find a place for them to put the bridge, or is that on them, or have we already determined where that is? We still own a 116 foot by 116 foot piece of property over on Forest Avenue. Uh, the city still owns that. It's right over by uh, West Bend Transit. So we're going to allow them to use that to store the bridge, and then if they want to store trailers and things like that during during the construction, they can. So it's fairly close to the job site, so they don't they don't have to move it miles away or anything like that yep okay. thank you any other questions being no other questions uh, we have a motion on the floor all those in favor aye, aye. opposed motion carried thank, thank you, you mike 
Item number three, order for removal and replacement of sidewalks under contract 2202. Good evening, Max. Good evening, thank you. Um, <clears throat> this item is uh, for order of removal and replacement of sidewalks along uh, Laurel Drive North. Um, we're going to bid this contract to reconstruct the road, replace utilities, etc. And while we're in, in this area, we will replace sidewalks that uh, are eligible for repairs. And <clears throat> this order is so that we can replace the sidewalk under the city's existing program uh, where we can um, <clears throat> invoice the property owners for half the cost of, of those sidewalks. So this is the order for removal in the area of contract 2202. Second. Any questions for Max? There are none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Item number four, permission to advertise C22-03, water utility pavement repairs. Thank you again. So this project is an annual project that the water utility does and it is to repair pavement, either concrete or asphalt, in areas where they had to do repairs throughout the construction season. So they go in, they fix the water main breaks or the laterals that need to be fixed, and then <clears throat> they backfill, but they don't have the capacity to install final pavement. So we hire a contractor and they get a list of areas where they need to repair and they go, they have deadlines, specific deadlines in June, July, August to do certain areas, and then they fix those, um, those pavement there. Um, <clears throat> So like every year, Water Utility has included funds in their uh, budget to address those repairs. Uh, obviously, the uh, final amount of the contract will depend on how many repairs there are. We cannot predict how many water main breaks we have. Um, but again, uh, like every year, Water Utility will cover those costs um, from their operating budget. So we recommend um, uh, we recommend um, approving um, the permission to advertise the contract um, and then we have the schedule, the timetable for the project in the memo if we have positive action tonight. Motion to approve. Second. Any questions for Max? Yes, Alderman Dalnick. That company that we used last year yeah, I don't even know if they're still in business, but if they were the low bid, you would be able to reject them, right? Um, Based upon their performance? Yes, it is a possibility. If they were the low bidder, um, it is a strong possibility that I would come to the board and council recommending um, that we go to the next responsible bidder. You would have the authority to reject them. Okay. It may not be necessary, but I, I had to ask because that was a show last year. Yeah, that was bad. Okay. I, Alderman Allen. I, I, I believe we actually addressed that in council. If we go back and look at the minutes, we actually uh, asked that specific question already and got an answer from council. Thank you, Alderman Allen. Uh, I just, um, Max, did they finish their projects last year as far as um, I know they were, weren't getting anything done? Did they finish all the projects that were on that contract? So they completed um, the items that they had under this contract for the water utility pavement repairs. Um, you may remember that they were also the lobbyer on the sidewalk, um, the annual sidewalk program. But on that contract, they did not do any work and we ended up canceling the contract. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay, we have a motion on the fall floor. Are there any other questions? All right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Item number five, permission to advertise C22-04, sidewalk repairs. Thank you again, so this project is the one that I just mentioned that was canceled last year. So it's for removal and replacing, replacement of deteriorated sidewalk around the city. Um, <clears throat> we do this project every year. 
uh, we have a list of um, sidewalks that came from either complaints from the public or inspection from our staff. And um, <clears throat> we placed these sidewalks on the list and we fix as many as we can under that annual um, sidewalk contract. So for this year, we will have the fund budgeted for last year's sidewalk program, along with the funds budgeted for this year. So we will do the items that were on last year's contract and the items, the new items that we have for the 2022 program. Um, again, assuming positive action by the board and council, we have the timetable um, when we plan on publishing the contract and doing the construction. Motion. Second. Actually, Any questions? I have one question, Max. I did not see it on here, but it might be in a different area. Uh, the Villa Park project, where the sidewalk's kind of slanting in and we've put it on hold. Is that yes. being bid with this or is yes. that? That sidewalk project was on last year's contract. So it will be carried forward into this contract. Okay, it's just gonna get carried forward. It's yes. just not listed. Perfect, thank you. All right, any other questions? There are none. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Order for removal and replacement of sidewalks under contract 2204. Thank you again. So this item is similar to the order that I uh, presented earlier, but this time is for contract 2204, which is our annual sidewalk program. So it's not in one specific area. It would be sidewalks replaced and repaired throughout the city. And we recommend that the board and council approve this order so we are able to invoice back the property owner for the share of their uh, of the costs for the repairs second any questions for that max there are none all those in favor aye, aye. opposed motion carried item number seven permission to advertise c22-06 repair epoxy pavement markings thank you um, so we use epoxy pavement markings on high traffic areas last year we did uh, epoxy pavement markings along 18th avenue this year we're proposing to do paradise drive from 18th avenue to main street um, <clears throat> and again um, we have a timetable for the project um, if the board and council approve giving us permission to advertise this contract Motion to approve. Second. Any questions for Max? There are none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Item number eight, permission to advertise C22-07. Repaint latex pavement mac markings. Thank you again. So this item is for latex pavement markings, which we use on most of the streets in the city. And um, we're planning on we're doing most of those streets this year. Last year, we had um, bid this project out, but we did, not receive, we did not receive any bids for it. And so in the meantime, we have talked with contractors, we've changed um, language in our contract, and we're going to rebid. We're trying to rebid earlier this year to get on their schedule. And we have a timetable um, for, the, for the project if the board and council grant us permission to advertise. Motion to approve. Second. Any questions? There are none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Item number nine, permission to advertise C22-08, crack and joint ceiling of pavement. Thank you again. Um, this item is for a contract that's part of our pavement maintenance program where we're trying to protect the roads. Um, so roads that have a PASA rating, a higher PASA rating, but start presenting cracks. We fill those cracks in order to prevent uh, water infiltration and further damage with freeze, freeze and thaw cycles. And <clears throat> so we do this every year and we have earmarked um, about the same budget that we had last year. And we're in the process of selecting the eligible streets. And again, we have a timetable for, um, for this contract if we get permission to advertise it. Motion to approve. Second. Um, Casey, you get it? Alderman Allen, Alderman Kaler? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, Max. Thank you very much. Being no further business before the Board of Public Works, I adjourn.
And with that, I will call to order the meeting of the Finance Committee this evening. We have six things on the agenda, starting with the approval of the minutes uh, from the Finance regular meeting, February 7th, 2022. Motion to approve. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Great. Next up uh, on agenda items for consideration, we have uh, accepting donations to the West Bend Fire Department with Chief. Good evening. You have before you a request to accept the $500 donation from Suzanne Stracota. That money is to be used for purchasing some tools that we did not budget for for the new tower. So Motion the money is going to go into the Second. donations account. Sorry. I think we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Thank you, Chief and Thank our you. donor. Uh, next up, we have a resolution authorizing the appropriation of funds for the DNR Urban Forestry Grant. Mike Yench, take it away. Thank you. Um, in 2022, our department applied for and was awarded a state of Wisconsin uh, DNR Urban Forestry Grant. The grant reimbursement of $25,000 has been received and deposited into a revenue account. Our department is requesting that the grant amount be appropriated to um, the Parks Account Forestry contractual, contractual Services to reimburse this account for payment of the tree surety contract and ongo ongoing costs of planting replacement trees. Thank you, Mike. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions for Mike? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, you, uh, Alderman Allen has a question. Yeah. Um, we're done with the Emerald Dashboard. Is this the last gasp of the Emerald Dashboard? We are in the re, still in the replanting process. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's and the grant that we applied for helped support the replanting because of Emerald Dashboard. It also supported other components within our urban forestry master or urban forestry program, mm -hmm. some staff education, public outreach, things like that. But um, a large focus of, of that was the replanting from Emerald Ashbore. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> Curious. All right. Uh, next up is the resolution to accept donations to the Parks, Rec, and Forestry Department. Thank you. <laughs> this evening, we have a very impressive list of donations that support the Regner Park Beach House renovation and also several other park projects and programs. The first 12 donations support the Regner Beach House improvements. The first donation of $38,000 um, was from the West Bend Community Foundation, Greater Milwaukee Foundation's Doug and Sharon Ziegler Fund. The second donation of $20,500 from the West Bend Community Foundation, Greater Milwaukee Foundation's Clifford A. and Elizabeth M. Nelson Fund. The next donation of $21,712.50 was from the Regner Rejuvenation Group. During the past 12 years, the Regner Rejuvenation Group has spearheaded some of the um, largest renovations to Regner Park. Um, those renovations included the entertainment area um, and other areas in the park. So a big shout out to those um, community leaders and their efforts. Countless efforts, countless meetings, um, supporting Regner Park in this community. Um, so thank you also for that donation. Uh, the next donation of $12,500 from the West Bend Community Foundation's Johnson Family Fund. The next donation of $50,000 is from the T-Mobile Hometown Grant. $2,000 donation from Patricia Stracota. $5,000 donation from Kettlebrook Church. $1,250 from Jason Wealth Advisors, LLC. And the following donations are as beach bums. These are the $1,000 donations uh, to help support the Beach House Project. The following are the beach bums for, um, for this list. Boys and Girls Club of Washington County, Hanson & Company Real Estate, Traffic Analysis and Design Incorporated, Frank Carr, Sarah Graf Incorporated, Andy Gonnering, Kirk and Sharon Emmerich, Kenneth and Cindy Collins, Richard Klum, Troy and Stephanie Lather. Uh, the next donation of $500 is also for towards the beach house renovation from Joseph and Mary Zaramba. The uh, next donation for the beach house um, for the amount of $300 was from Paul Nelson. Um, those donations round up uh, the um, donations this evening for the Beach House Project, those total $161,762.50. The 
The next donation of $1,200 was donated by Spotlight Productions Community Theater Incorporated for the Recreation Center uh, Library Basement Renovations. And the last donation of this evening of $150 was donated by um, the West Bend Disc Golf Club for the Riverside <coughs> Disc Golf Course. Um, again, we would like to thank all the donors um, for their commitments to making West Bend a brighter and stronger community. Uh, again, a very, very impressive list this evening. Thank you. Motion approved. Second. Uh, thank you, Mike, and thank you to all of our wonderful donors. Uh, uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Thank, thank you. Uh, next on the agenda, we have a resolution for correction of the 2021 personal property taxes for Vantage Financial. I believe Ian is going to give us an update. Yep. Uh, so this is a property um, that was placed on the property tax roll twice. Um, so this is a correction, uh, removing it from, or sorry, for personal property taxes. Uh, it's placed on the tax roll twice. So this is a uh, resolution removing the additional mistaken invoice. Second. A second. Do we have any questions for Ian? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> That carries, thank you. Uh, and lastly, we have a decision regarding claim and disallowance for disallowance for claim against the city by Benevolent Corporation Cedar Community. Ian? Yep, uh, as discussed in closed session, uh, the legal recommendation on this claim is to deny it. Motion to deny. Deny, or second. <laughs> All right, we have a motion and a second. Uh, anyone have questions for Ian on this? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, that passes. Uh, with no further business before the Finance Committee, I will adjourn. And good evening once again. I'd like to call to order the City of West Bend Common Council meeting for February 21st. Note that we do have a quorum with all aldermen president accounted for. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. I'll note that we have 20 items on our agenda, the first being the Common Council regular meeting minutes for February 7th. Motion to, motion to approve. Second. Thank you, Alan and Model. Any comments or corrections? Set up by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. And then under presentation, we have a proclamation declaring Courtney Rummel Day in the city of West Bend. If we could have a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Second. <laughs> All right, we're going to be different this time. I'll get that one to Kaylor Burquist. There you go. Um, all in favor, so I'm going to say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. And this proclamation so reads, whereas West Bend resident Courtney Rummel competed in the 2022 Olympic Winter Games in Beijing, and whereas Courtney is 18 years old and a graduate of West Bend West High School, and whereas Courtney is a member of the U.S. Olympic women's snowboarding team and participated in the slope style and big air <laughs> events, and whereas Courtney is part of the Wisconsin Advanced Ski and Snowboard Program, and whereas Courtney's career highlights included uh, placing 17th in slope style in the 2022 World Cup, Silver in slope style at the 2021 U.S. National Championships and silver in big air and seventh in slope style at the 2020 Nor Am Cup. Now, therefore, I, Christophe Jenkins, mayor of the great city of West Bend, do hereby proclaim Saturday, March 5th, 2022, to be Courtney Rummel Day in the city of West Bend. Acknowledge that the Downtown West Bend Association will honor Courtney on Saturday, March 5th at Old Settlers Park. So once again, that'll be a public event that uh, everybody is welcome to come celebrate Courtney at. That's Saturday, March 5th. It's going to be at noon at Old Settlers Park in downtown. And with that, we'll move to consent agenda, which consists of items one through 14. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you, Model and Alan. Any questions or comments on those? Hearing none, all those in favor, sort of saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Under agenda for consideration, we have approval of mayoral appointments to the downtown mid board, which are in your packet. Motion, Motion to approve. approve. Second. <laughs> Thank you. Alan and Model. Any comments on that? Hearing none, all those in favor of those appointments, signal by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. And thank you for those people for stepping up. Uh, next is number two, decision regarding claim and disallowance for disallowance for claim against the city benevolent corporation Cedar Community. The recommendation from the finance was to deny. Move okay. to disallow. Thank you. Second. 
Thank you, Dolnik and Alan. Any further comments, questions? Hearing none, all in favor of denial, send by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. And we'll move on to reports. Our favorite report every month, a report by Alderman Berquist <laughs> regarding the library board meeting. Hold no, the, whole the whole only board. report for the month. <laughs> cool. uh, good evening. The last meeting of the library board was held on February 15th. After the Pledge of Allegiance and Consent agenda, we received the financial reports. Again, noting uh, was a donation, this time from the family of John Klein, in memory of Mr. Klein, a respected local teacher and athletic coach for books and equipment. Thank you very much. Uh, board member Joanne Klein took advantage of the public comments section. It's like, ah, oh, crazy. Uh, and this time she talked up the uh, library friends group, she, of which she's a member. Uh, she explained how to join the group and reminded us of the book sale which supports the group. Uh, the library director, Steve Theory, provided staff reports and briefed us on the library's business resource and job seeker pages on the website. Uh, library board president, Deb Barkowski, advised the board members that Joanne Klein and Cindy Warnier have decided to step down from the board after many years of service. We pass on our thanks for their service and best wishes on future endeavors. Thank you, Joanne and Cindy. Uh, we were told that the mayor has had interest in filling these vacancies and will be conducting uh, interviews with those people involved. Uh, the agenda items included review and approval of the annual report, which is for the state, discussion and approval of the city's compensation plan as it pertains to city or as pertains to library employees, and a transfer of money obtained through the Kiwanis donations for the lower level uh, recreation center. The next meeting of the library board is scheduled for March 15th at the library. Wonderful. And to update your update, uh, yeah. we had five app applicants for the library board, which is great to see that uh, number of interest. We have two openings. We interviewed um, four of those five uh, today and had a great old time. So thank you for those people for uh, wanting to step up, and you guys will see that recommendation later on. So thanks, Brett. Any questions for all member requests? <laughs> Then we'll move on to our closed session item. Number one, entertain a motion to adjourn into closed session pursuant to state statute section 19.85, para 1E, deliberating or negotiating the purchasing of public properties, the investing of public funds, or conducting other specified public business, whatever competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session. It's for negotiation of developer's agreement for tax parcel number 11192340014. Alderman Allen. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Is there a second? Or, yes. Thank you. Yep. There's a second? Yep. Yep. Thank you. Uh, then I will ask for a roll call vote. <coughs> Alderman Butchlick? Aye. Alderman Allen? Aye. Alderman Berquist? Aye. Alderman Kaler? Aye. Alderman Dolnick? Aye. Alderman Ahrens? Aye. Alderman Model? Aye. Alderman Kennedy? Aye. We're in closed session. Thank you. So we will be adjourning from closed session. So put up if there's any announcements for the go to the order. Yes, sir. Uh, just a reminder, one month remains to, to renew your, your dog's uh, jewelry <laughs> so it's a nice green color this year uh, so you can get those at the finance department yes sir and I'll just add, I had a great uh, ride along with the police department Friday night with uh, Officer Welker. We had a fun eight-hour shift together, caught some bad guys, did some good stuff. It was awesome. Uh, so I appreciate uh, the police department for allowing me to do that. Thank you, Chief. And with that, we will adjourn in closed session. Thanks.